Excuse me, ma'am, are you Miss Pearl? Yes, I am, dear. The young woman pulled a letter from a small leather bag. A very nice gentleman, Mr. Swanson, told me to come see you, Miss Pearl. I see. Come up on the porch, dear. Mozella, would you please bring us some iced tea? Yes, ma'am. Psalms 104. Some wandered in the wilderness, lost and homeless. Sit here, dear. You look tired. What is your name, honey? My name is Emma Grace, ma'am. You are quite pretty, Emma Grace. Thank you, ma'am. I've fallen on some hard times, Miss Pearl. I have no place to go, and Mr. Swanson told me I should come and talk to you about a job. Emma Grace quickly handed her the letter. Pearl opened the envelope, put on her reading glasses, and began reading the letter out loud. May 23, 1923 Dear Miss Pearl, I hope this letter finds you well. My purpose for writing is to introduce you to Emma Grace. Her father was a lunger, and they came to West Texas when he became ill. Unfortunately, her father died of tuberculosis in Carlsbad last week. He was a good man and strong in character. I recommended that Emma Grace contact you as I personally hold her in good standing. With kind regards, Mr. Charles J. Swanson. <laughs> good old Charlie. He always had an eye for a pretty girl. Well, Emma Grace, Tell me about yourself. Mother died when I was born, and Daddy and I came to St. Angelo several weeks ago. He had tuberculosis. They called him a lunger, and he has been in the sanatorium in Carlsbad. I guess it was too late for my Daddy. He died last Thursday. There isn't much money left, and I'm afraid I don't know what to do. I have nowhere to go, Miss Pearl. I have an aunt and uncle back in Missouri, but they have seven children already. I certainly don't want to be a burden. Mozella walked out on the porch and handed Emma Grace a glass of cold mint tea. As she turned to go back into the house, she raised her eyebrows at Pearl and smiled. You are quite lovely, Emma Grace. Did Charlie, I, I mean Mr. Swanson, tell you about what we do here? Yes, ma'am, I know. Emma Grace looked at Pearl with all the courage she could muster. Miss Pearl, I, um... Well, I, Miss Pearl, I have never been with a man before. Pearl was taken by Emma's sweetness and charm. Somehow I knew that, dear. But I'm sure I can learn. Pearl liked her. I have an idea. Mozella could use some help with some domestic chores. Can you cook? Oh, yes, ma'am. I have been cooking for my daddy my whole life. Well, at least you won't go hungry and we can put a roof over your head. Another pretty face at the parlor is always advantageous. Emma Grace, I believe you could do well in my business. However, I do not want you doing anything you are not ready to do. Why don't we give it a few weeks and see what happens? Come on in the house, honey. Mozilla will be happy to have the extra help right now. It's Friday night and the girls are bubbling over with excitement. We are expecting cowboys tonight. It is the spring of 1923. Fate has brought 13 women together to work at Miss Pearl's parlor in San Angelo, Texas. These are their stories. <laughs>